What's up? I'm Alex from LearnBeats4Fast.com and in this video I'm going to talk about the optimistic engineer's mindset. Now what is that? The optimistic engineer's mindset is basically a mindset that can help you learn a lot of Beats Volleyball very fast in the short term. So I think it's better I just start explaining what, what the mindset actually is. Imagine I'm now the optimistic engineer and I have this camera battery and I have this tape roll and my task is as an engineer to build an airplane and I'm very optimistic about this so <clears throat> I don't overthink it in the beginning I just sort of look at what I have okay airplane hmm, how is this gonna work I'm gonna experiment I'm gonna do a trial I'm gonna take some tape here I'll take this Hmm, this looks like a body. This looks like some sort of wings. I'll make it like that and like that. And here's my airplane. So now here's where the optimistic part goes. Basically, an engineer just tries out. He runs experiments. So I'm going to experiment with this airplane and see that it doesn't fly so long. And here's where most people get discouraged. They go, oh shit, this is impossible. You can't build this airplane, whatever, whatever, whatever. But the optimistic engineer sees this only as a trial that he can learn something from. He sees that, okay, these wings are too small. They're too floppy. So I need to make another prototype where maybe that works. And so on and so on and so on. The optimistic engineer goes and builds a bigger version of this and experiments with that, learns something from that experiment, takes those lessons with him into the next one, doo -doo -doo. and uh, a couple hours later, maybe you would find me here with this huge tape thing that actually would get some air under its wings and fly a little bit. But I'm not going to do this in this video. How does this apply to Beach Volvo? It applies this way. Um, we all have technique of some sort in our game. Let's talk about attacking for because it's it's an easy easy way to explain this. Attacking techniques. There's millions of different arm swings, whatever. Some people don't even swing. Some people do tomahawk like Eric in my other video. There's many ways to score points in beach volleyball as an attacker. Some people just do shots, whatever. One can always learn new techniques or change one's techniques. That's more of a long-term way to get better at beach volleyball. But the short term way is to get as good as possible at using at what you have right now. And that's basically very simple. Go to a court, set up goals, for example, where you want to hit and start hitting. See, did it go there? That's the first experiment. You hit once, you see it goes two meters or whatever, six feet to the left. The optimistic engineer just takes that as feedback. Okay, it went too much to the left. The optimistic engineer doesn't say it's bad or good, it just says it's two meters to the left. Tries another trial, thinks, changes something, you know, a little bit more to the right, goes four meters to the right. Aha, uh -huh, okay, so maybe something in between here, and so on and so on. You see where this is going. But really having this mindset when you play around with your technique is key to really have this detached way of looking at things. Just take every repetition as information to then gain better and better and better accuracy afterwards. For example, taking an hour and calibrating your current attacking techniques with this method might give you a lot more accuracy than what you have before. All of a sudden you have this these insights of how to get the ball there and there and there and there, which can then score you a lot of points. Of course, there's also the possibility that the equivalent to the engineer actually not being able to build an airplane out of these things, which then that means that there's a structural problem underlying all of this, which means that we have to get different source material. The equivalent to that in Beach Volleyball would be that you actually have to change your attacking mechanics. But as an optimistical, curious engineer, that's also just a piece of information because then you know, okay, 
my limits are, I have some limits here. I can only hit this point, but I would want to hit that other point. And my current technique doesn't cut it. So then I have to go and change the actual mechanics of my hitting. And that's just more information. Cool. I hope that makes sense and I hope it was helpful and all that good stuff. I'm Alex from LearnBeachFallFast.com and you might hear that I like to have a little bit of a different approach to mastering the sport than maybe a lot of other people do. If you think it's interesting, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel, you should join my Facebook group, join my mailing list and um, what more. You should comment on this video, click the like button and stuff like that. And I'll see you later.